to my channel, Sandy Totero. My name is Laura. Uh, today we're going to do a reading for the week of December 13th through 19th. I am going to make it a pick a card reading, but this time um, I'm going to shuffle during the reading. I'm not going to uh, pick the cards in advance. I'm just going to uh, give you some options here and you can choose whichever uh, stone or whichever card uh, or number is speaking to you. And um, I'll put the timestamps in the description box below and you can go directly to your reading. Again, this is going to be a weekly for December 13th through the 19th. I'm recording a lot of videos today, get everything set up for a couple of weeks that I'm going to take off around Christmas time. So I want to make sure you guys are set and ready to go till the end of the year. So we're going to start this reading for December 13th through the 19th. And, um, as always, thank you guys for supporting my channel. I appreciate you subscribing and uh, sharing my channel with your friends and your family and anybody that you think might be interested. And I appreciate you guys liking the videos, giving them a thumbs up whenever you like it. That is, it really helps the channel and it just helps me. It just uh, lets me know that I'm kind of on the right track and doing the right kind of things and the things that you guys enjoy, which is what this channel is all about. It's tarot readings for y'all. Okay, um, so again, I'll just uh, put the camera down, let you choose which pile of cards you want, and then I'll put the timestamps in the description box below, and you can go to directly to your reading. Okay, we'll see you in just a second. Okay, my friends, so these are going to be your options for the December 13th through the 19th pick a card reading. Option one, two, and three. The uh, uh, Option one has a cinnabar enhanced quartz on it. It's an orange stone. Op option two has the obsidian in the shape of an arrowhead. And option three has this hot pink stone and I have no idea what it is. I just love it because I love the color. I'm sure it's man-made or dyed or something. This is probably man-made or dyed, uh, but they're great stones, they're pretty. Bright colors, so I like that. Again, this this week i'm going to be pulling the cards as i go through the reading i'm not going to pull them in advance so uh, just use your intuition to pick the pile that is speaking to you that you think is going to provide your messages for the week um, you can choose based on just the number whichever number you like the stone whichever stone you like you can uh, choose by, based on the time stamps that will be in the description box below However you choose is the right way for you, but let's go ahead and get started on the weekly reading for December 13th through the 19th. I'll see you at your reading. Welcome back. If you chose option one for your December 13th through the 19th reading, these are gonna be your messages. Um, so option one did have the cinnabar enhanced quartz on it, and that is, like I said, a man-made stone, I'm pretty sure. It brings uh, abundance, it enhances your persona, and it's good for business and finance. All right, we'll just put that over there. That's nothing but a card number. Let's see what we got this week. As I said, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. As I'm doing the reading, um, some people like that, and I haven't done that in a while, so we'll just see what's coming up for pile one. I do have definitely my small little clarifiers here. I have all kinds of Oracle here, so we'll see, you know, what happens, what, what, you know, how we choose to proceed with this. God only knows. I'm just winging it today. All right, so for pile one, what's coming up for the week of December 13th through the 19th? Got the strength card. Get a couple more of these, the Radiant Rider weight for pile one. There we go. Got the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Okay. And I think I'm gonna get a couple of the Druid Craft Tarot just for further clarification on what this energy is about. Can you tell us about these cards for pile one here? What further messages do you have for pile one? Just get a couple. 
couple of these. We got the Princess of Wands. Okay, and the King of Wands. Um, okay. Well, this actually looks like a really good week for business for some of you guys. Um, and it uh, actually looks like a business that you are doing on your own. It's an entrepreneurial thing. It's a business ownership, like you're the business owner here in this particular reading. So the strength card is, first of all, the Major Arcana card for Leo, but it is also a card of, just as it says, a time in your life that it requires strength to get through a situation. Uh, and this is the feminine strength. This is tact and diplomacy, and the tact and diplomacy that's needed to tame the beast. I always say it's not muscling the beast. It's not, you know... Uh, fighting the beast to the ground. It's not taming the beast in that way. It's taming it through the feminine guile, actually. Um, but it does represent you having the inner strength to do what you need to do. The Page of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. So knights are always bringing things into your life. And the Page of Pentacles is bringing something in the way of material gain. The Pentacles are, you know, the food, clothing, shelter, jobs, uh, job opportunities, business opportunities, education that, that when completed will bring you more abundance. It's something like that. Uh, it's success or it's bringing you in options in the uh, material realm. And for me, it looks quite a bit like a, a business proposition, and I'll tell you why I say that in a minute. The, this Four of Cups over here is the card of dissatisfaction. If you look down here, this guy has three cups sitting here. He's also being offered a fourth cup. If you notice, it's coming out of the sky. It has the hand of the divine in it. So generally speaking, he's not happy with any of these cups that he sees. Not any of these three that's here, not the one that's being offered. He's just in a very dissatisfied state. And this usually is something that's happening internally. Uh, just, it, I wanna say in the blahs, a little a depression with a little D, not a big depression, you know? But maybe just a little bored with everything, a little dissatisfied with everything, just kind of being in the blahs, though you may have some wonderful things that are on offer for you. They're, none of them are appealing to you. So down here at the bottom, you have Wands Energy. And the Princess of Wands, which in the Rider Waite Tarot would be a page, would be the Page of Wands, to me represents Sagittarius. And the King of Wands here... Um, In, represents the Aries, the minor arcana for Aries for me. So you have so much wands energy. And to me, the two cards that really represent entrepreneurial spirit, business owner, that kind of thing, creative ideas that you can turn into a business, Leo and Aries. You've got both of those on the table. Um, so to me, what is happening this week is you are being presented with an opportunity. An opportunity comes in for some kind of business proposition. Now, it can be some hobby, uh, and I say that because uh, wands are a lot of times creative ideas. They're energy, their vitality, uh, their creative ideas that um, you can maybe turn into a business. Again, these are uh, very entrepreneurial. It could be just a standard or straightforward business proposition, like owning a store or something like that, but it's yours, it's your deal. 
It's something that you're being uh, offered the opportunity to do on your own as the proprietor of this business. Uh, for some reason, although this looks like a very promising business venture, you're not sure that you wanna do it. Uh, maybe um, you're not sure if you can succeed. It looks like you're, you think it's not gonna be fun. It's gonna be a little boring. It's not really something that you're interested in. But I always tell people this with this Four of Cups, anything that's, anytime you have this kind of situation where something's on offer to you from the divine, you at least want to look at it. I'm not saying that means that you have to take it, but it is on offer from God. So this business proposition or something that is coming into you is something that I think some of you are going to want to look at. The other th uh, message for the Princess of Wands is a messenger. Pages are messengers. Um, and then the Page of Wands or the Princess of Wands means that there's some, you get some good news. Some good news comes to you from somewhere, and that's through email or for, through a phone call or something. And, um, and that's, probably, that's probably connected to this Knight of Pentacles. You're getting some kind of communication that says, hey, I got this business proposition for you. Um, I think it could work. Uh, you would be the boss of this situation. You would be the sole proprietor of this situation. Maybe this person, however you get this uh, communication, maybe they want to help you with this. Maybe they want a percentage, 10 or 15% or whatever. Uh, so they're looking for some kind of commission on it, but it would, ju it would still be your deal. Trying to see if there's anything else. Okay, so on these people here, Sagittarius is the time frame that we're in right now. So this could be just a timing card. Um, if you are not an Aries and or an Aries is not involved in your situation, this can also be an older gentleman who is very, a very interesting person because they've had so many adventures. They're very adventurous. And if it's not an older gentleman, it could just be another of the fire signs, Leo, Sag or Leo Sagittarius. Oh my gosh, Aries, you've got all the fire signs here on the table. So that is interesting. Uh, so it's, it's, the fire signs are just in general. They're very optimistic, they're very adventurous, they're uh, energetic. That's just kind of who they are. So I, th I feel like there is energy around this business proposition for you guys. There's a lot of energy around it. There's a lot of promise in it. And I think you kind of, I think you owe it to yourself to take a look at it. That's not saying you have to, you have to do it, but the, the opportunity is there for some of you. So for pile ones, that's what we're talking about this week. You've got some kind of proposition for a new business or some kind of creative idea that would bring you money. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving energy, so this is not like an overnight success thing. This is something that's gonna happen. You, it will be successful, but it's gonna be successful by uh, taking the necessary steps to be successful, by uh, taking it one step at a time and just doing everything the right way. So, that's interesting that you got that Cinnabar, which is about uh, business and finance, and you got this reading here that's about a business. Very interesting. Synchronicity right there. Okay, so 
I'm just asking the angels and ancestors to provide any kind of words of wisdom, last minute words of wisdom for this pile. Anything about how sh they should approach this decision about the business or just in general, what kind of words of wisdom do you have for my pile ones? Okay, huh. You got direction, guardian. Choose your path. Sorry, I don't have my glasses with me. That's why it's taking me so long to read this. Choose your path. Again, the choice is yours. Your, uh, some of you will decide to take up this, um, to, to do this, to take up this business proposition or this business idea and go with it. And, um... make a success out of it because it can be very successful but this is saying the choice is yours choose your path you can you can do this if you want to you do not have to if you don't want to it is entirely up to you okay what does the sake for the sacred travel card what direct what does uh, pile one need to do any if anything what action does pile one need to take to do wondrous universe walk in beauty wow so I just don't, I feel like that this is just this is not something that you need to do walk in beauty mm. uh, Maybe that is kind of opening yourself up to the beauty, the natural wonders of the universe and um, accepting that true miracles can come to you. And I feel, I feel like this may be connected to this <laughs> dissatisfaction here, just being in a state of blah. I think maybe if you look at this in a different perspective, look, she's walking down the path. Walk in beauty. Um, if you just kind of look at this for a different, uh, in a different way, maybe look at it from a different perspective, although you do feel a little bit of blah about it, maybe take a beat and, uh, do something to get in a better frame of mind before you make this decision. Like whatever it is that makes you happy. If that's dancing around the living room, if that's going to a movie, if that's, it, what, listen to some good music, whatever it is that you know puts you in a good mood, I would do that before I make this decision and accept that the, that the universe can offer some truly wondrous things. So that's kind of what I'm getting from that. This can be successful if you, if you choose to do it, but the choice is yours. Okay, that's all I have for my pile ones. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Okay, if you chose pile two, these are going to be your messages for December 13th through the 19th. Um, so pile two does have the arrowhead obsidian on it. So this is uh, obsidian in the shape of an arrowhead. I chose this one today because I'm traveling out west for the holidays. So... Um, but the obsidian is very well known for being a good stone to release ne negativity. It helps you confront your shadow self in the first place. And then it helps you, uh, release the negativity. So in case you want to get one of those stones, um, as I said, I'm going to pull the cards today as I'm doing the reading. So I'm going to ask for three cards here from the herbal, herbal tarot and I will put the I uh, can't remember whoa 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 what's going on with you pile twos oh my gosh okay so we got the tower the queen of swords 
Okay, let's get one more from these uh, Herbal Terra. One more card for Pile 2 is what's happening this week. The Nine of Wands. I haven't used these herbal tarot in a bit. Maybe they're just wanting to be used really bad. We're just gonna get a couple from the Druid Craft Tarot here just to further clarify these cards. What what do you have for pile two? I don't know why you guys, these, these cards are just jumping out for you guys. So something's, something big is happening this week. For my pile twos, one more for pile two. Okay. Sorry I didn't show you the Druid Craft Tarot. So you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Strength card. Okay. So here's what's up. Something. Some sudden change. Uh, some sudden change. The tower is actually a very unexpected. It's just the unexpected happening. It is a sudden change. That is the kind of the meaning for the card. Um, it does look a little scary sometimes. People don't like to get the tower. And I kind of get that because I'm not very good th with things that I don't anticipate. I'm just, I'm just generally three steps ahead of everything. And I play that what if game, you know, which is such a bad thing to do. But anyway, uh... I like to be prepared for things. I don't do so well with surprises. So that's why the tarot or the tower is not always that fun for me. However, I have had many tower moments in my life and I can tell you it is always for the greater good. Whenever something, it's just like, it just sweeps stuff away. And sometimes it's big changes. Um, and I do feel like, I'll tell you why in a minute, but I do feel like this is a big change for you guys. Uh, but please keep this in mind. When the cat, uh, the tower comes along and it just wipes the slate clean, that's because the direction that you were moving in was the wrong direction. It was built on a faulty foundation. The foundation was not good. So this is a blessing coming to you. This is the divine stepping in to sweep it out of your way. The other two cards you got with the Herbal Tarot are the Queen of Swords, and this is my card for Virgo. So you might be a Virgo, you might, or some Virgo might be connected to this particular situation. If it's not a Virgo, it's an older lady who, and I say older, that's just 35 and older, so that's not too old, you know. But it's uh, not a young, young, young woman, but an older woman who, is very intelligent and she does not suffer fools gladly. She's sharp. She uh, uses her head to make decisions. Uh, she, and this is kind of one of the character traits of Virgo, they are not afraid to cut people out of their life that no longer serve them. They, they will do it in a heartbeat. Uh, and it appears ruthless sometimes, but it actually is, it serves them very well, you know, because um, some people hang on to bad relationships for too long. You don't have to worry about that with a Virgo. They're not gonna do that. Okay, so she does, she does have this sword here and she is ready to use it, which means she will cut anybody out of her life that she needs to without uh, too much remorse, you know? It's a good quality to have. I know it sounds ruthless. It's not, it's not ruthless. It's a good quality to, ha quality to have, actually. To know when it is time to cut people out of your life. That is very, very important. If they are hurting you, you need to let them go. It's hard sometimes. Um, but that's one of the good things about the Queen of Swords. She is not as emotional as like the Queen of Cups would be. She's not touchy-feely, but she's sharp and she has a lot of integrity. And um, she's just a very smart queen. Now she can be a little bit bitter, but we won't go there. I don't think that's what it's about. I think it's about this. I think it's about 
maybe you and the universe have to work together this week. Like the universe will take some things and uh, wipe, them, wipe them away. And maybe you need to do some cutting yourself. Okay. The nine of ones is a card of being, nines are always endings. So that is good when it comes to this card because this is a card of being battle-worn. It is in a, being in a defensive stance, but it's like you've been in the defensive stance for a very long time and you're exhausted with it. Um, wands are energy, so whenever you get nine wands like this or ten wands, the ten of wands is kind of similar. A lot of burdens, a lot of struggle. Um, you have maybe taken on too much and though you're at the end of it, the message of this card is that you, the only way out is through, you're the only one that can handle these. You've got to handle these burdens. Uh, you do have the fight left in you. You have one good fight left in you to handle all of these responsibilities. Okay, so the cards you got down here, you got the Strength card, which to me is the Major Arcana card for Leo. Strength is, uh, well, let's talk about the Leo first. Leo is a fire sign, and fire signs are adventurous, energetic. They are entrepreneurs. They are uh, optimistic. So... A Leo may play into your week and maybe not. Maybe it's just this card is saying you it's going to require strength to uh, kind of deal with all this that's going on here. But you do have the strength that is required. You have what is required to make it through this week and to handle all of this that is happening. And this is also a reminder that this is feminine strength. This is not masculine strength. You're not muscling that beast to the ground. You are taming the beast with tact and diplomacy and the feminine guile. You'll use your feminine wiles to tame this beast, to deal with this situation as you move forward. And what you're moving forward to is wonderful. It's the Ace of Pentacles. It is a new beginning. Um, so Pentacles are material things, right? So food, clothing, shelter. Um, So this is a new beginning that's on offer to you. The, pen, uh, the aces are always new beginnings. They're always on offer to you from the divine. So this is a new beginning that's on offer to you in the way of your home or your job or something that offers you material. Could be abundance, uh, could be stability. Something that offers you material success. That is what is happening for you this week. So just kind of to pull all that together, this is a very interesting week. There's a lot going on. Something is going away, uh, maybe by the hand of the divine, and then you are yourself uh, getting rid of those things in your life that are no longer needed. It is a release week. And if that needs to happen, if you need to release things, I would recommend doing it before the 14th because the 14th is the new moon and that's when you set your intentions for what you want to come up for the month. So release what you need to be need to release. What you don't want to release or can't release yourself, the divine's gonna take care of it. This is a week of releasing those things, those burdens, those burdensome people, uh, the struggles that you have. This is a week of releasing all of that and moving on to this new beginning that is happening for you. And it's in the material. I don't know if that's a new home, if it's a new job. Um, but if you notice this bear is like coming out, this is like the springtime for me, the Ace of Pentacles. He is like coming out of hibernation. That's you. 
That's what's happening. You're releasing all this struggle and the burdens and coming out of hibernation into a new, a new direction that will require some strength. Anytime you have this kind of dynamic change, that's a big change for a week, right? Um, so any kind of time you have that kind of a dynamic change, it's going to require some strength, some inner strength to get through it. This is saying you have it. Don't worry about it. You have it. Big changes are coming for you this week. But um, let's see what kind of advice we can get from uh, the angels and ancestors on how to deal with these big changes. It's very exciting. It's good. It's a good change. It's a new beginning. You're coming out of hibernation into, into what looks like a really, really cool new beginning. And it'll be... It'll be um, very beneficial for you because eventually it means abundance. So what kind of words of wisdom can we get for pile two for the week? For working through these big changes that are happening. Hunter, track down your fears and your desires. Okay, so this card kind of means that um, when you find out what you fear. And this is in a very aggressive way too. This is not like the hermit card where you go in and you find out what you're afraid of and you find out what your shadow side has to say and you find out what's lurking there beneath that you need to deal with and release and all that stuff. This is very active. This is hunt it down. Hunt down what it is that you're afraid of. And that's just a matter of asking the question when you feel that fear in your soul or in your heart or in your <clears throat> wherever you feel it, um, ask yourself what it is that you're afraid of because when you find out what that fear is, it allows you to find out what your desires are. So whatever you fear will tell you, okay, what I really want, you just turn it around. What I really want is X, okay. So let's just take, for example, if you fear losing all your money. It's like I'm really just fair, uh, afraid of being poverty stricken. I, I uh, watched my parents go through that. They lost all their money one time. It was really bad for the whole family. So you have this deep-seated fear of losing all your money and being poverty stricken. Okay, so that is your fear. So you can turn that around and you can find out, okay, what my desire is, is to be financially stable and to have some financial independence and to have a little money in the bank so that um, if some kind of emergency does happen and I do lose a lot of money, then I have something to fall back on. So that leads you, that fear of poverty leads you to your desire for financial independence. Does that make sense? Okay, so. Be a hunter about it. Track them down. Track down your fears, and then that will tell you what it is that you want to manifest. Going back to that full moon thing on the 14th, um, that's a good time to manifest. Not, not a full moon, a new moon on the 14th. That's a good time to manifest, to put your desires out there into the universe. This is what I want. Okay. So... From the Sacred Traveler, I just want to know if there's any action that you need to take or anything that you need to do. What do you need to do? Sometimes that's nothing, but let's see what we have from the Sacred Traveler. What does Pile 2 need to do? What action does Pile 2 need to take? Taking shelter, the answers are within. Okay. So here's, we got the hermit. This is almost like the hermit card in the major arcana. So that is like the going within um, to find out what it is that you truly desire. It's very similar to this. This is kind of like hunting it down. This is kind of like going within. Uh, you are being asked this week to find out what it is that you really want. And uh, so that you can manifest your desires. Go within, hunt down your fears, find out what it is that you're afraid of, and that way you will find out what it is that you want and what you want to put out into the universe. What is your wish? 
Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it there for the pile twos. That's, that's a lot going on for one week, so that's pretty uh, dynamic. Uh, no, keep, keep in mind that these energies are a little fluid, so it could be like a couple days before, a couple days after, but basically this is your reading for December 13th through the 19th. Okay, until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Okay, welcome back, my pile threes. These are going to be your messages for December 13th through the 19th. Uh, pile three had the hot pink stone on it, and honestly, I don't know what this is. So, if it has a meaning, I don't know what it is. So, you can make up your own meaning. What does this hot pink stone mean to you? So, that's nothing but a number, so I'll leave that over there. All right, so I have decided to pull the cards as I'm doing the reading for December 13th through 19th. It's working out pretty good so far, so I'll just keep doing that. All right, December 13th through the 19th, what's coming up for the pile threes? There's a couple of, okay. We got three, that's what I wanted, wowza. You got the hanged man. Oops, sorry, Oops, can't see that, can you? The ace of swords. And the world. All right, so just for Further clarification from tarot. I'm going to get a couple of the Druid Craft tarot cards just to see if there's anything else that we need to know about these three cards here. Any further messages for pile three for the week of December 13th through 19th? What do we have for pile threes? Got the four of ones and the two of cups. Okay. Well, that's interesting. There's so much synchronicity in this reading here. Okay, so this is pile three. You got the 12, which adds up to a three. You got the 21, which adds up to a three. And then these are mirror in images. One, two, two, one. Um, basically what's happening this week is a new beginning for you guys. And, uh, it's an ace of swords beginning. So to me, it's a very victorious beginning. Aces are always new beginnings. They're always, they always have the hand of God in them. They're always on offer from the universe or the divine, whatever God, whatever source, whatever you call it, uh, that which is bigger than us. Um, it, this particular depiction has the laurel wreaths. That's where the victory comes in. So this is a hard won victory. This is a hard won new beginning. A lot of times this comes out of some, some diver adversity. So after a period of struggle or what I think has been a period of non-movement, the Hanged Man is the card of taking, it, I call it the adult timeout card. It's taking a timeout from action to look at things from a different perspective. Sometimes this is self-imposed. Sometimes it is not. Sometimes it is imposed on us by uh, the divine to, for many reasons. First of all, you, you need to look at things from a different perspective. Second of all, you may have some shadow work that you need to do, and it's going to require a, a, taking a time out from activity to really go within. It's also, uh, to me, like a, a cocooning card. <laughs> Uh, like maybe some internal healing is going on, you know, how the caterpillar is cocooned and, you know, they're, they're, they're going through this process of metamorphosis. Um, 
and that can happen to us spiritually. Like we're, we're, we're kind of a part of us. Maybe in the in the in the seasons of life, like a part of us has died, a part of us is can no longer be the way we were, right? Uh, and this happens like when you move from childhood to adulthood, from uh, singlehood to marriage, from marriage to parenthood. Those changes, those big changes in your life, so you can't be the person that you were. So you kind of go into this bit of a cocoon, and you're you're. Um, going through this process of metamorphosis and you will come out after that a changed person um so that's uh, to me a lot of times what the hangman kind of represents well you're coming out this week with a new beginning and it is a, an ending and a beginning at the same time because that's exactly what the world is it is the last card in the major arcana uh it can be, I mean, it's, it's the world. You're being offered the world. The world is opening up to you. Money, luck, fortune coming to you. Um, new opportunities are coming to you, and they're big opportunities because they encompass the world. It's not just something that's being offered to you in your little uh, neighborhood, in your backyard. It's big. It's new. Um, and it's going to be different for all of you, but it's new opportunities. It can be overseas travel. That's probably less likely right now with the pandemic still being the way it is and, and uh, that not really being open to a lot of people. But it's kind of like the world is your oyster kind of a situation. It's, a it's like Jupiter. It's a change in luck and uh, money coming to you. It's just, it's a very, uh, it's a wonderful new beginning that is happening for you guys this week. Okay, so these cards down here are interesting. You got the Two of Wands, which is a very happy family. Oh, I'm sorry, the Four of Wands, which is a very happy home life card that it is the card of home it is also the card of you see the 11 11 portal in there the 11 11 so generally speaking when you're when you see the 11 11 or you're seeing it a lot on the clock or it's uh, it's coming you see it over and over and over again that's just uh reminding you that at this particular time you almost have a direct line to the divine. Like, put your wishes out into the universe because you are manifesting really quickly right now. But the mundane meaning for the card is it can be a celebration around the home. Uh, a lot of times you get this card when there's a marriage situation. And that might be especially true for some of you because you have the Two of Cups here, which represents a, that is a couple. It usually represents a new relationship. It's the beginning stages of a relationship, but it's a very promising relationship. Like these two people are very compatible and there is a lot of uh, hope for the future of this relationship. Of course, you never know how it's going to turn out, but all of the elements are there for that to be a good relationship. If it's not a like an actual love relationship, it can mean that a partnership, you're entering into a partnership this week. For a lot of you, though, this is a marriage. This is a marriage that's happening this week, or this is... Um, a new relationship that's starting that could lead to marriage, especially with all of this uh, new beginning in the world being on offer to you. This, for some of you, this is definitely a marriage or it's a relationship that can lead to marriage. For others of you, it could just be um, just entering a new uh, like a new partnership is coming to you or a new relationship is on offer here to you. This celebration around the home, because it is so close to the holidays, 
this is a reading for December 13th through 19th. That can just for some of you mean that you're going to have a really nice time with your family at the home by the fireplace. We've got the fire going here. Uh, so you're going to have some good uh, holiday celebrations around the home. Uh, but for my pile threes, what is coming this week is a brand new beginning out of a period of stagnation and adversity. You, it's a victorious new beginning that brings you the whole world. Wow. Okay. So let's see if we can get some words of wisdom from the angels and ancestors. What kind of advice can you give to our pile threes for the week of December 13th through the 19th? What advice can you provide for pile threes? Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. Okay. So to me, that means uh, with this new beginning, you're changing too. You, it's time for you to shine. It's time to, for you to unleash your gifts onto the world. That is what this card is saying to me. You are going through a transformation. Transform and unveil your gifts. So you're going through a transformation. Again, the, the uh, caterpillar to butterfly scenario there. And you have so many gifts within you is what this saying. And now is the time to offer them, to show them to the world. You're unveiling these, what you have to give to the world and you're showing it. You're letting them see all of you, all of your different colors, shapeshifter, all of the things that you can be and all the knowledge that you have. Wow, that's a super cool message. Okay, and one last card just from the Sacred Traveler. What does pile three need to do? If anything, what action do they need to take? So pile three, what action does pile three need to take? If anything, what do they need to do? What action? Pile three. Protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels. You don't need to do anything. This is just a message from the divine that's saying you are protected as you move forward through this week and through throughout your life, actually, uh, the angels are all around you and they're protecting you. This is also associated with the Archangel Michael, too. My, uh, Archangel Michael is very associated with protection. Um, So that is just a lovely message from the divine saying your angels are around you and they're protecting you and they're guiding you and they're with you as you embark on this brand new journey. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for my pile threes. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste.